What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at a tutorial on how to use WhatsApp. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So WhatsApp is one of the most popular messaging apps in the world and it can be used to send messages, photos, videos, and make video calls on your smartphone. The first step in installing and setting up WhatsApp on your phone is to actually download the application. So on the iPhone, what you want to do is go into the App Store and you want to search for WhatsApp. From there, you want to make sure it gets downloaded. After WhatsApp is downloaded, you want to start it up for the first time. What makes WhatsApp so convenient and popular is that it's linked to your phone. So when you start up WhatsApp for the first time, you'll be asked to punch in your phone number. This way, the WhatsApp application can send you a verification code to your phone number via text. It can also sync up your contacts to the WhatsApp app, which makes sending WhatsApp messages and other things to your contacts on your phone a lot more easy and convenient. After you've punched in your phone number, we'll take a look at some of the screens for WhatsApp. The first screen we have is status, which is the first of five choices at the bottom of the WhatsApp here. In status, you can do a few things. You can add a profile picture using your cell phone's camera, or you can edit your status. Here you can type in a status that all of your contacts will be able to see on WhatsApp. Moving on to the next option here, we have calls. Here you can see the history of calls that you have made in WhatsApp or calls that you have received or missed in WhatsApp. You can also call one of your contacts via voice and or video call by hitting the top right button here. And from there, you can select someone to make a phone call to in your friends list. Next, of course, we have camera, and here you can take pictures, which will be directly accessible by the WhatsApp app. You can switch between your front and rear facing camera, or you can even go with this button here over your gallery on your phone. The next option we have are chats. Here you can see the existing chats that you have for the WhatsApp app. At the top left, you can either edit the chats that you have available, you can make a new chat and you can go through the broadcast list or groups. The difference between, let's say, a broadcast list and a group is that a group chat is where all the members that you include in your contact list in the chats will be able to send a message to each other. Whereas with a broadcast group, the, the broadcast group will only be able to see messages sent from yourself and they won't be able to send messages to each other. So we'll open up a new chat here. After you open up a new chat, you'll be asked to either select a contact or a new group, and then you can make a new group there. So let's open up one of these chats here. At the top left, you can either hit the video button to make a video call, hit the call button to make a call, or at the bottom here, you can type in a new message. From there, when you open up a new message, you can either access your camera or hit this button to send a voice message. If you would like to send an attachment to one of your contacts, you can hit the plus button here and you can select between camera, photo and video library. So there you have it everyone, just a brief overview of how to set up, install and run WhatsApp on your iPhone. WhatsApp is one of the most popular and convenient messaging apps in the world and it does have some more advanced features which we'll get into another video here. So if you found this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.